uh, can I get a... Uh, can I help you? Yeah, hello? Yeah, let me get a uh, number four, uh, double quarter power, no cheese, no pickles, extra cheese, and a Coke. You guys have uh, sliders here, the little ones. Okay, no, I'll just take the number three then. Yes, please. Does that say chicken McMuffin cup? Can I get three? What did I order so far? Yeah, can I? If I order any Big Macs, I don't want those. Yeah, that's all for me. Anything for you? No Big Macs. Hold extra pickles on the. Can I get three, lar three large number fours? No pickles and, a and cokes. Uh, I, think, I think that'll be it. Thank you. Twenty-six twenty-nine. Thank you. How about take your order? Man, just think about it. With one little Burger King bag, you could become so many people, so many different things. The mind reels. It staggers back and stumbles. You don't have to wait for Halloween to roll back around again to wear a funny mask or become something else. And just and realize that you can become something else without disliking what you are. That's not the only reason. In fact, sometimes what you become and what you pretend to be is much less desirable than what you actually are, and sometimes it makes you appreciate your true self, whatever that may be. Who really knows? Like, for example, this weird little mask I'm making here. If the guy looks really sad and distraught, and I'd like to think that I am a little bit happier than that. if At least a little bit. A lot bit. A lot of times. And on the downside of this mask guy, he can't ever smile. Unless I somehow put the mask on upside down and turn that frown around, as the saying goes. And then it does get a little bit scary, because if you make a mask for yourself and you customize it, in any way that is still yourself on that mask you're putting yourself into the mask and then you're putting the mask on you and that is still some little portion of you magnified and 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 a little part of you becomes all of you oscar wilde said a mask tells us more than a face now sometimes people are afraid of other people who are wearing masks because we think that when someone isn't wearing a mask, we know who they really are. Or we think that people aren't really wearing masks all the time. Is there, is there some way we can just look at people and really know who they are? I think maybe there's a false sense of security there. Thinking everyone is fine for themselves or for us just because they're not wearing a mask. Or because we think they aren't. But... Uh, but, um, what am I talking about? What I'm saying is I don't think you can even take off all your masks, even if you wanted to. Maybe, maybe with extensive training and practice and effort and a lot of willpower, maybe you could peel. I think it's just masks all the way down is what I'm saying, even when it doesn't look like it. Oh, oh, it is. It really is. Whether you like it or not, you're just you're just you're just covered in masks, built out of them. You know what I'm saying? Anyways.
I'm making a video for YouTube. Oh, really? Yeah. What's your YouTube channel? Peter Draws. Peter Draws? What do you do? I mostly draw. You draw? Yeah, it's for the intro to a video. Oh, it's the intro? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I'll, I'll you want to be on it? I'll subscribe, yeah. I'll put you at the end of the I'll blue. Hey, YouTube. Peter Draws, subscribe, baby. Subscribe. Great draw. Art. Amazing content. I'm a huge YouTube fan, man. Nice, dude. I, I love you. Yeah. Shouts.